Yeah, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Uh, Tom here. Welcome back. If you've never been here before, welcome. Uh, we're going to take up where we left off, guys. I promised you a trip to the iron mine, so uh, I was doing some uh, off-camera grinding. Got me some uh, coal cars, and uh, we're going to see if we can get this thing up to that iron mine. That's an awful lot of weight with that lumber and stuff behind me. But uh we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here. So should jump up in here BJ here and and see if we can uh see if we can get up here to the iron mine and get us some iron. Um I did do some some more track laying. Uh, want to get a uh, well, I'm better check to see if she's well, let's, uh, let's get our hatch open here so we can get this out of our way that's an odd place to put that thing right in your face there so let's see uh, where our fire is at we don't want to get up the mountain there and run run out of fire run out of heat let's put a little bit in there 69%. Oh, we're running up all the way up to 99 there. And then forward. Let's see. Reverse this forward. We'll give her about 78% on that. And regulator. And we'll release the brakes and see where we go. See if we can get going up this mountain. She's hard pulling at first. You see, that's a lot of weight. That's uh, two cars of beams and four cars of lumber. And then the three coal cars. But look at that view, guys. That is just... Well... And get rid of the trees there. That is such an awesome view. I love the views in this game. Got fall weather right now. Fall trees. So I wonder if uh makes you think a little bit. Wonder if he's gonna wintertime change the scenery again uh, we're gonna have to go in there we might have to give her a little bit more juice because she's not wanting to go with just 78 percent well i don't think i have any we may need to go back here and uh see if we got any brakes on I don't think I do. We might have brakes on, guys. Yeah, there's a brake on right there. Ah, uh, there's another one. That one's not on. No, it's just the two brakes. Bring it down a little bit. About 80% ought to do it. Look at that monstrous view. But guys, we're going to. This is uh, I tried to keep it probably at a 2% grade most of the way. Um, because anything more than that, and a lot of these, uh, a lot of these engines won't make it. Um, I do see in the last update, they changed the, uh, tractor effort of, uh, uh, a lot of these engines. Um, maybe the Shea was right about, uh, 
I think he went first when he first put it in the game it was uh, 1500 or something like that or 1100 or something now it's it's uh, down to around 500 I think it's not much more than the uh, Eureka so um, we can go take a look at it real quick while she while she's climbing go to the G menu Go to the G menu here. Bring up our locomotives. Let's go see what what our Shea is now. The Glenbrook is see it's a drop Glenbrook down to seventy eight. I think the Glenbrook was about fifteen hundred two or somewhere around there. Climax still seventeen. Heisler's thirteen. There's a Shea. Shea's down to 5896. 58, and uh, the Cookie's 11. And of course, the DG Class 70 is 15. So, uh, yeah, the Shea's 56. And that's right around the same as the Eureka. So, yeah. Yeah. They cut her back there. So, but, <clears throat> so she's not, not a workhorse she was the, the last time we, we, we had her on the track, but, and I don't know if she's going to make it at this rate. We might have to, bring her up to about 90. See what happens. Well, she's having a hard time, boy. That's a hard pull. We might not make it to the iron mine, guys. Um, if we do, it'll take several hours <laughs> at this rate. Um, so. We may have to get a different, well, go back and get Betsy to come up here and help him. And BJ don't know, I don't know, I think BJ wants to, to go. If we get on some flatter ground, maybe we can pick up a little bit of speed and then use that momentum. I think we're hitting some now. We're getting to some. She looks like she's picking up a little bit of speed here, so. We can, uh. Hopefully. Get up. Well, I don't know. It goes. There's another little incline here right around the corner. Um, I guess, I think it's to get over that, uh, get over the river there. So we're coming up on the waterfall. <clears throat> so guys, if you like this, my content, you know, please like, share, subscribe hit that notification bell so you see when I produce new videos and put out new content and uh, comment guys comment you know let me know what you think um, any ideas toss them out there I'll uh, I'll read them and uh, we can discuss them in the next one. I'm thinking seriously, uh, probably going to do some live streams here. Uh, probably in the next few weeks or so. Uh, trying to work out time to do it. My work schedule is so hectic right now. As a matter of fact, starting tomorrow, we're going to 10-hour days. So I may have to cut videos down to maybe 
um, twice a week or maybe even only once a week on Saturdays. I don't know. We'll, I'll have to see. Um, it depends on how tired I am at the end of the day. Water pressure. What's my water pressure? She's up there, 160. Sander. Oh, you know, and I forgot the most important thing, guys. Uh, my grandson watching my videos, and he told me I, I always forget to do this when I take off moving. He says, Grandpa, you got to blow the whistle when you start moving. So I'm going to try to remember to do that from now on. Um, he says, I have to blow the whistle when I start moving, and I have to go hit the bell when I'm going in reverse. So we'll, we'll try to remember to do that from now on. But uh, I wish she, she'd pick up a little bit more speed. And that incline wasn't really to get up over the river yet. I thought I was closer to the river than that, but I guess not. I see it around the corner. I can see it through the trees there, though. It's up there. This bridge inclines a little bit so it can get over the river. And then it should drop back down until it gets over to the, to the cut on the side of the cliff where we follow that cut up and man it's it's uh some of them inclines up there if you followed the cut and tried to stay with the level or close to the ground as possible uh, some of them up there are six six and eight percent inclines so we uh I think I tried to keep it at two percent most of the way. There might be a little bit of three percent in there, but I hope not. I don't want to lag in there. I hope not because it's uh at this if she's uh not wanting to pull two percent like this, I don't think she could pull three. She's got to keep moving. I got to get some of these trees away from the track. I like them a little bit further away from the track than this, but I just tried to quick get this track in there and and get it uh get it in there and get it ready so we could bring this up there. So if we can get this um, lumber up there. Then we can fill up these coal cars and uh, and bring uh, bring some coal back down to the smelter. And we've already got some cordwood at the smelter. We just need the or iron. I'm sorry. Bring some iron back down to the smelter. Iron ore. And if we can bring some iron ore down there. Then we can get the uh, we can get some uh, some iron made up. And that's the next thing, get some iron made up and then we'll build some track over to the to the oil field and dump some in the oil field and and then dump some in the get some to the iron factory and and I think the uh, I think the refinery also uses uses a, uh, iron rails or it might uh, it might be I know the coal mine does and I know the iron factory does and I think the I'm pretty sure the coal mine or yeah the oil field does um, I think the refinery uses just like uh, lumber and and oil 
it uses lumber and oil and makes oil ba oil oil barrels. I'm sorry, I can't talk this morning. Makes oil barrels, and uh, that's what the biggest seller is. Some oil barrels they sell for a lot, and the only place you can sell them is a freight depot. And and uh, but you yeah that's that's where you make your money. That's the end of the end of the line over there. So we ran. There's the uh, that old bridge I was. So I started to go down from the from the iron mine and change my mind, but I left it because it looks kind of cool. It looks like an abandoned track over there. But boy, she don't want to go, does she? Ninety percent, and she just ain't going nowhere. I might see if she'll take a hundred percent without spinning the wheels. There she is, hundred percent. What are they just spinning? Well, my wheels just spinning. Want the wheels are just spinning in place, or? Let's try this view here. I like this. No. Look like she's going any faster. I don't. I can't really tell. If she looks like she's going any faster or not. But this is it's it's a steady two percent all the way up, I believe, from here. So I believe that's about as fast as we're gonna get it to go. BJ just don't. Like I said, they they quilt some of the attractive effort on these engines so the Shea is not what it was when it first come out so we may have to get a better engine for this run up to the iron mine because we're going to have to pull at least I mean we may not need four cars of lumber maybe just two beams and two lumber and then four coal, empty coal cars, and then we have empty, empty uh, stay cars on the way down, and full coal car, iron cars on the way down, full of iron ore. But it'll, uh, it'll be a lot easier coming down than it is going up. That's for sure. But uh, this is gonna kill us too, right here, guys. I tried to kind of stay with the with the cut of the land all the way across there and uh, there's that cut down there right here um, that if you follow that most of the way you can get away with about a two percent two or three percent but up in here you get a little ways up in here and it's, it's six and eight percent and it's pretty gnarly so uh, in order for me to stay at 2%, it brought me, you know, I had to stay higher in this area here than, than I really wanted to, but we, uh, I guess I could have used, I was going to use that wall up in here, but that, it kind of looks pretty high for a for a wall so but yeah it's up in you get around in here and then there's a little section you go through which it's kind of you got like a, a cliff on rocks on each side of you and uh and that's where the 
the grade is really, really steep. Um, see where I had some dirt mounds where I was climbing up and down, getting back up and down. I need to get rid of them. I could probably do that now because this train's not going very fast, so I'm not pretty sure I could catch her if I had to. Here we can put down groundwork and yeah, we'll get rid of that. And then we can run back up here and catch right back up to Betsy. Or BJ, I'm sorry. Catch right back up to BJ. She's still at 100%. Moving right along. Moving right along. That's a... That's a... Get out of the grass there. That's an awesome view. You can sometimes, there, there's a way, I know I saw one of these, the earlier players, um, before even, I told you about the guy, Nix, um, and uh, his uh, description was down in the bottom of one of the videos. Uh, it was the video where I did the, the short video where I did the, um, just jumped in, we Took a look at all the new engines when that engine came out with the three or update came out with the three engines um his uh go back and look at that uh update video and and his this uh in the description is a link to his channel um but oh look at that that's beautiful that is beautiful i gotta figure out how to get my uh screenshots working again uh, it doesn't seem to want to work um, I tried to take a screenshot a couple times earlier and it didn't seem uh, or when I was grinding trying to get the money for these cars and it did it didn't work so I'm gonna have to figure out what's wrong with my with my buttons for my screenshot but that is beautiful right there But there's a way, um, uh, there was a guy, Heiss, and, uh, he was, uh, he was, uh, uh, a dev, too. Um, I think he did the music for the original, uh, Railroads Online, um, and, uh, he played the music itself, so he had music that people, you know, songs from, uh, that other artists had did, but he played them. He actually played it, so they got away with. They didn't have to play copyright because he actually played the music. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, they. There was a way they went around and come down. That track went around out of the iron mine on the other side and come down that other side of that valley. And uh, I got to remember, go back and watch some of the videos and see how that was because it came out on the other side of the valley and actually came out up there, um, came out up there by that cut where you, where you come from the sawmill going down to the smelter, right? Where you come through that cut to start down to the smelter, it, it ended up right there. So you didn't have to always go back down to the smelter you could run uh beams and lumber straight from the sawmill to the iron to the iron mine and then just use this side of the track just to run coal or iron ore down to the down to the smelter um but yeah it was uh it was right this area right here this is what I was talking about where the cut goes in between the two in between the two rocks. This is if you follow that grade up through here, it's it's 
six percent or you can see look how small that wall how short that wall is getting as you move along and this is only a two percent grade so from back there just that little bit up to here and see how little that wall how high that wall is right there it's not very high compared to what it was so you know that's the grade up through there that's a six some some six or eight percent up through there so yeah it's uh if you try to follow that and and stick to the landscape down through there man it's 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 rough and, and you really got to have a a bp engine so yeah you would have to probably you would have to bring the climax probably to get up through there and even the climax might have a hard time making that trip um pulling any weight because it's uh it's just pretty pretty rough through there but uh now it's it kind of smooths back out here and but like i said we're it's always been two percent i tried to it was a two percent pretty much the whole way um i knew that i may have to make this run with the um whoop trees getting annoyed i may have to make i may have to make this run with Betsy or even uh, even the Eureka a couple times so uh, I try to keep it at 2% just in case I had to make those runs with them but Betsy um, you'll be lucky to get one of each of the of the lumber cars and then maybe a, a couple coal cars or, or, or a couple uh, war cars um hopper cars called but yeah you'd be you'd be lucky to get probably four cars on that two loaded and two empty with betsy if betsy would even make it with that i don't i'm not sure if she would uh, and then it all it also depends guys on what you put your uh, settings on um realistic it's really really rough I don't know if the shade would make this unrealistic with all that oops with all that weight um I have mine set on medium right now so I'm not sure the shade would make it unrealistic um, um, we might try that we might try that one time we'll I'll load up and put it on realistic and see if the shade will make it up here unrealistic but, um, I think that's the last bridge I got across right there yeah you can see the iron mine over there in the distance off to the right just on the other side of that bridge is the iron mine so we made it guys I think we actually made it 100% um, all the way um, burning BJ up here, probably out of wood, out of probably burn up all the wood in our firebox here. We better check it. Oh, we're down to 35 percent. It didn't burn at all. I can't believe that it didn't. But and uh. By all rights, should have. Look at that view, guys. It's so beautiful down through there. But I am going to take out some of them trees. Stay out of the grass. Oh, oh there's another, uh, And I think our next, our next adventure will maybe be to the oil field. Now that we got this licked here, um, I'm gonna have to grind out though and get another engine. Uh, we may try the DG848. I think that was uh, that had a tractive, tractive effort of about nine thousand, I believe. Um, take a look at it real quick.
Why BJ's humming along there? Order to the 48. Uh, yeah, 9,550. We might, no, I want the 48 might make it up here. Um, pretty good. Uh, I know we can't use the Montezuma, and the Eureka might make it, but uh, the Glenbrook at 78, the Glenbrook might make it. Uh, the Climax would definitely make it at 17,000. That's the workhorse, and she would definitely make it. But we'll have to see. Um, we may try the Glenbrook. I like the way the Glenbrook looks. Um, This is uh, this one and the oil or the coal mine is the two that we're going to be really, really. Did I run track around it? I see a bridge over there. I can't remember if I ran track down the other side or not. Oh, no, I think that's that's just a uh, turnaround. Okay, that's what that is. Sorry, guys. I'm Losing my mind. I'm like, I don't remember running track off the other side of that, down that other side of the valley. That's that turnaround. I built a turnaround so I wouldn't have to uh, figure out how to put a Y. I don't even know if I could put a Y in here. There's not very much ledge setting up here. So well, we're going to come in here and I'm actually going to do this view here to come in because I like to be able to see where I'm at and uh, I think did we bring Betsy or the Shea up here with just lumber on a trip I can't remember but we're going to go around the other way Go to the right here. Swing around and come back in the other way. Oh, excuse me, guys. So we can... Oh, these late nights at work. And then from now, starting, or I guess for the next two or three weeks, it's 10 hours a day. I won't be getting off till 1.30 in the morning. Uh, so I don't, yeah, I don't know if we'll be getting, I'll be getting many videos out of me. But we'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do what I can, guys. I promise. I love make these videos for you guys. I like to, I like to see you guys comment and, and tell me what you think and uh, give me some suggestions. And anybody who's play who plays this game, um, if you, uh, got any suggestions for me, man, get, you know, give me a, Leave them in the comments down there. I'll, 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 def I'll definitely read them. I check them uh, at least every other day. You know, get this, get her around. Get BJ around there. Get some coal or some uh, coal. Get some iron and uh, in these in these hopper cars and. Uh, Drop this wood off and yeah, there's a where does that go? I did, did I? Guys, I may have built another track around there. I'm gonna pull in here and I'm gonna run back that way and find out. Uh, I surely don't remember going down the other side of that valley, but I need to build a siding right there anyway.
and roll her on up in here and dump some of this off start getting on the brake here because we're coming up on our lumber cars our beam cars I'll reverse her back in the forward position and they're rolling on there a little bit more. And I'll say stop. We'll go back and check that out and see how that see how that works out there. Okay, too far, too far, I guess. So, right here looks like the middle, right about. Would you guys say right about there? There's the middle. That's that middle log or middle post right there. So I'm saying that's the middle. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take and we're going to go wall without ballast. Right about the center of that peg. And, mm, goes off a little bit. Nope, 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 nope. It's not what I wanted. It was off a little bit on our uh, on our radius. We need to go. Nope. By the way, I got set on ten. That's why. Let's see what that looks like. So can we come out about right there? That looks good. So that will tell us, give us an idea about where the center is. So I don't know if these are going to catch. No, they're not going to be. They're going to be off. So we're going to need to get up here on the train. <clears throat> back her up just a little bit, guys. Back her up just a hair. Uh, reverse her in reverse. Give her a few beans. Let's break off. Wow, it's coming forward. Come on, back up. Back up. There we go. Come on. See how that works. Too far back the other way. Just might catch the edge. Let's see. Will I start dropping that off there? One, two, three. Yep. All right, it worked. And then four, five, six, five, six, five, six. All right, I'm going to drop off our lumber. Do we have any iron in there? Yeah, I got 45 iron in there. So cool. So I can come forward. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it this way, guys. Um, so no, it's not the height of realism, but it's easier for me. 
to see uh, if I had uh, another multiplayer or something like that then then uh, had somebody back there you know telling me how many cars to pull forward and we could uh we could do something like that but get this break off and boy she just doesn't want it. she's gonna try to go backwards Gotta fight that momentum bug. And we're gonna get some coal before we get to drop off that lumber, I believe. So we're gonna break about there. Get what down to 35, Couldn't tell whether well, that was 10 or not. And so we 10, 10 or 10. All right. Roll her up a little more. One more car. So I guess that car needs to be about right there. Break off. Break on. Yep, that's how it works out. Down we go. Thirty-two. Thirty-one. Thirty. We got to get down to twenty-five. Ten. Roll on, roll on, roll on. Roll on.
go too far. I'm going to go too far. I'm going to go too far. i got to back up to do that last coal car. Come on, back up. Back up. Come on, back up. All right, we're going to go see if we can get it in there. I don't know if we're close enough or not. No, we're definitely not close enough. Definitely not. She's going to have to back up. But we're about too much weight, I believe, with this coal. Come on, Sander. Sander. Want well, no sand on this thing? Want well, no sand? That's sand. Oh yeah, she's dumping sand. Looks like she's dumping sand. Oh, they're selling the cops. Come on, baby. Come on, BJ. Well, we may have to empty the lumber and then see if we can get the, uh, get it to roll backwards. Maybe, you think? Try that. Try anything once. Is she right in the middle there? I'm going to call that pretty close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She, now she's coming back. Now she's coming back. All of a sudden she tried, decided to take off. that freaking momentum bug once it gets like a forward momentum or like here a reverse momentum and then all of a sudden it doesn't want to you no matter what you do you can't get it to go forward now my sander turned on now it won't turn off well, that's a bug we're gonna have to work on all right, we're going forward. Let's bring our regulator down. See, that's the backward momentum now. It wants to go backwards. Now I don't want to go forward. Yeah, this is something he's going to have to fix, guys. It's, um, this isn't good. 
Mysterious momentum. There's a sander now. Let's see if we can see it dropping any sand. Yep, there it is, dropping it right there. Thing about it is, she'll sooner in just a second she'll take off like a bat out of hell. Oh, this is excruciating. Excruciating. No brakes. That's uphill too, guys. <laughs> it's going back uphill with no power. And reverse her forward. Back up the hill. Oh. <sighs> Only in railroads online, guys. And we finally got it reversed. Finally got the momentum, re momentum reversed. What it was, we let it roll, roll back enough to get that momentum off of it. A mysterious momentum. Mysterious momentum. We're going to get this car up here. Start giving it a little break. Should be enough. Hitting the wrong button. Wrong button. Well, in a way, they said you could bring them up and down. Let me try that thing. Let me try it. That's at 20. 
Oh, they say you can go like this. Drop it. Drop it. Yeah. And every time one of them balls comes out of there, that's one. Where am I at? 17. I need two more. One. Two. That way you ain't got to sit and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait, I guess. Yeah, not 15, so that should have done it. So let's go see how close we are. So we need to come up quite a bit. I think that car was past it a good ways. So we come up, let's see if we can let this roll up a little bit. And we'll the car should be getting there now, we'll give it a little break, see if she'll stop in time. Come on, baby, stop. And we'll have to see. But I think it's right about in there, isn't it? Right about there is the middle. So we're going to do the same thing. Come off of here. Let's get our groundwork. No ballast, or just ballast. And that's about the middle there. So that's about the middle. So then we'll come up here. And we'll say if that's about the middle, then the end of the car has to be Balance. So we so say the end of a car has to be right about here, right? And we'll go up here on another one and say an end of a car has to be right about there. So just ballast. I think we're going to turn it a little more once in line with the track. Say the end of the car. Let's see, turn it back. about there all righty so she ain't rolling is she I thought she was rolling there for a minute guys it's gonna take off on me so let's see if this is gonna count if it's gonna hit the end of that dock and count one yep okay All right, we got six there. We got six here. Come on. So it's taking how many? So it takes. Is it one and one? Two and one. 
two and one. So two lumber for one beam. And we need to come up a car. So let's take a break off. Let a mysterious momentum roll us forward, or this may be on a little downhill incline, I'm not sure, but. That should be good enough. Close enough for government work. Oh, I could have come up too. I should have come up too. I should have come up too. So I got 12 lumber here. That's so going to be 12 lumber, so that means I need six beams. I need two cars of beams to go with what I got here. Okay. I tell you guys, I think we can roll on down. I'm going to call this an episode. We're an hour in. Next episode, we'll roll this down to the uh, smelter and unload. And uh, we now have some iron we can take down to the smelter so guys thanks for watching remember like subscribe share 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 um, get this out to your friends and uh, we will see you on the next one bye bye